Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am Jazz. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, let us know what you like about this video, give us a like. Um, today, I'm gonna do a special video. It is how to control your frizzy hair. A lot of persons were like interested in knowing that, and at the time, I didn't realize that it's a major factor that I should address because I've learned to control my frizz over the years. So I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks that I've used throughout the year. Now, another thing that I wanna mention is that currently we're doing a little shout out on our YouTube channel. So if you want us to shout out your channel, please subscribe to our channel, screenshot and send it to our Instagram DM. Let us know that you subscribe to this channel and in our next video we'll give you a shout out, okay? So basically, I've told you what we're doing today. So let's get into this video. All right. So basically, the first tip that I'm going to be sharing with you is that uh, do not comb your hair out when it's dry. Like, do not brush it out at all when it's dry. Now, I used to do this when I didn't know how to take care of my hair. I would brush my hair out dry. And like talking about it right now with I'm actually picturing in my mind how when brushing it you'll hear that ripping song that breaking song that is so bad for your hair like yeah. do, do not, not ever, ever brush your hair out when it's dry like the best way to do it is shower when you wash your hair out apply your conditioner and then you can go in with a wide tooth comb that is what i use i use a wide tooth comb i do not use a brush because i still do not like the idea of using a brush because for me when i do it i end up taking out like excess amount of hair that is not supposed to be falling so i avoid using a brush at all costs i just use a wide tooth comb it's very effective especially when you're showering that is when you should comb your hair out because if you do it dry obviously it's gonna get frizzy and if you do it in the shower it's not because you're gonna be conditioning your hair and then you're gonna comb it out and then you're gonna rinse your conditioner out a little bit and then apply your leave-in so after I applied my leave-in tool I normally go in back with a comb just to make sure there's no knot there's no tangle just to get it like beautiful that's what you can do so it's not just for curly hair. This video, it's not just for curly hair girls. It is for persons with straight hair, wavy hair, any type of hair. It's just to learn how to control your frizz, okay? Second tip, avoid using products with sulfates, parabens, uh, glycerol, alcohol, and all those bad chemicals for your hair those things actually make your hair dry and frizzy and brittle so avoid using those products like i'm very sketchy with my products if i'm gonna try a new product i'm gonna read the ingredients i'm gonna observe it while i use it because sometimes i do not even trust what they say in the ingredients but i'll try it out see if it's curly friendly or not so you should too because this will help put your hair it helps to maintain the frizz it helps a lot okay the next tip that i want to touch on is that you should not wash your hair every day when i say wash i mean shampoo do not apply shampoo to your hair every single day that is so not good for your hair because shampoos they have chemicals that dries the hair oils of your hair out like the natural oils and doing that can lead to a lot of frizz can lead to breakage, can lead to split ends, and you don't want that as well. So avoid washing it every day. If you can, you can wash it twice a week. If you can really, really can, you can do it once a week. I usually wash mine once a week. I used to twice a week, but I recently started like once a week because I think that's better for my hair. I do not want to wash the oils off. I wanted to have the natural oils in my hair, and that makes your hair look so healthy. So. That's a major major tip as well. Another tip is that a lot of persons do not know this, but 
after you shower a leave-in conditioner is very effective for your hair so applying one actually helps with the frizz so make sure you have a good one like it's free of all the bad chemicals that I've spoke about earlier and uh, apply it to your hair that is very effective especially for curly girls you need to have that little moisture in your hair for it to be nice and curly so you should get a good leave-in conditioner there are lots Cantu that is one very effective one it is very affordable as well there's Shea Moisture I use Diva Curl too I'm using a I use a lot of products like sometimes I just use random products but I make sure that they're free of a lot of chemicals another effective tip to help to minimize frizz is that you should deep condition your hair at least once a week try to at least once a week if not every two weeks that is effective as well deep conditioning when I say deep conditioning I mean like have a hair mask apply it to your hair let your hair sit and absorb that nutrients and then wash it off one popular one that I do is the egg treatment it is very effective for your hair it helps with the frizz a lot it really helped me a lot it helps to minimize frizz a lot so that is one there is hot water hair mask you can do with honey that is effective as well that is good for your hair as well there are ones that sells too but you have to make sure as i said it's free of all the bad product all the bad chemicals sorry make sure that there's no bad stuff in it before you apply to it so basically it's the same thing you just apply it to your hair put up in a cap and leave it to sit for about 30 minutes that's a max i'll go and then wash it off so that is one you can try diva curl has this nice one their deep conditioning treatment it is very nice i love it i've used it a lot uh shea moisture they have one too that one is so so good i loved it that one actually when i started off my journey that's one i've used it was very nice for my hair i love the smell of it as well so for those who cannot get access to Diva Curl products, you can get access to Shea Moisture or Cantu. These are very effective products as well. So do remember to try them out, guys, and let me know how they're going. If you, like me, and like some days you feel like to refresh your curls, never apply products to your hair dry. Like if you're going to refresh, it means that you're going to apply your leave-in conditioner, but never apply the products dry. Go wet your hair, get a spray bottle, spray water in your hair, make sure it's detangled and you can go ahead and apply your leave-in. So doing that helps to minimize frizz. If you apply it to dry hair, obviously it's going to be frizzy because it's not going to soak in into your hair. It's going to just dry it out and it's going to be frizzy. So avoid that. That's one major thing I've learned too along my hair journey. One major thing too is to add gel to your routine like a curling gel is so effective but when i say gel it doesn't mean that you can go get any gel when i was little me and my sister we seriously didn't know how to take care of our hair our mom didn't know much too because her hair is not as curly as ours ours are very curly and uh we didn't really know much like she didn't know so she didn't know how to teach us how to take care of our hair we learned and then we teach her how to dig over here right now so yeah basically like what we used to do is that when going to school me and my sister we would put her hair up in a ponytail i know some of my friends did this too curly girls too and we'll comb it like smooth like really really smooth and then there are gonna be some curls gonna be popping off like this we do not want to see that i do not know why what was the reason but you used to buy these gels these were just these colorful gels and they smell nice too and we'll apply it to her hair and we're gonna apply thick thick gels to her hair then when we come home back like in the evening from school we're gonna go in with a comb and we're gonna comb it out and our hair's gonna be so frizzy and like we couldn't have controlled it like we didn't know i know a lot of persons did that too i'm sure so those gels were so bad for her hair because we noticed her scalp 
we were seeing our scalp our hair started thinning so those things are bad because they have the bad chemicals in it so if you're gonna add a gel to your style routine add a good gel i use one from diva curl i use a curl custard from kinky curly there are other gels out there you can try so yeah guys invest in a nice gel that gel actually helps to seal your moisture in let it control the frizz so that's one of my tips as well um usually because i'm doing so much thing to my hair i do not usually apply the gel every time i shower my hair but every once in a while yeah like if i'm gonna go out in a breezy environment and i want my hair to be controlled that is when i'm gonna apply the gel so it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna use it every time you shower because i don't because i'm doing other things to control the frizz so that's one plus right so yeah guys try this tip as well another amazing factor a lot of persons don't like hearing this but oils they're very important for your hair a lot of persons don't like their hair being oily but trust me oils are very good for your hair essential oils are so good for your hair coconut oil is a good oil for your hair too it has amazing properties i normally put coconut oil in my hair when i'm about to shower it even if it's the night before i'm gonna massage my scalp i'm gonna spread it to my ends and make sure my hair is soaked with coconut oil so the next day when i shower i'll see my hair looking healthy and it's gonna sparkle it's gonna control the frizz so oil actually helps a lot with your frizz control usually you can seal your hair with a oil as well like after you shower and it's completely dry apply an oil to your hair it helps a lot like to maintain the frizz there are good oils are there there's a popular one argan oil i use that a lot it's not too oily and it's alcohol free make sure these products are alcohol free guys so this argan oil is a uh, one that usually buy in Guyana but I have it over here too so I'm gonna put a picture of it right here to let you see what it looks like um, during my shower routines I do not know if you saw this but this is another amazing factor you'd see me um, scrunching out my curls or drying out my hair with a microfiber towel now a microfiber towel is same as a t-shirt you can use a t-shirt if you do not have a microfiber towel this helps with the frizz because it's not rough it's smooth so when you're going in with your microfiber towel or your t-shirt and trying to dry your hair out it does not rip your hair or does not make it frizzy or brittle or whatever because this is so smooth if you do that with a towel you're gonna see it's gonna like get your hair all fluffy and frizzy and stuff like that you know when you were little your mom when she's drying your hair she would turn your hair upside down and she's gonna go in with a towel and she's gonna be like this and when you're finished you're gonna see your hair being all over the place mine used to be like that because she didn't know as i said so that's a plus two in controlling the frizz because after you showered you want your hair to be like perfect like you know after showering your hair should be like perfect and so do that guys avoid using a towel try using a t-shirt or a microfiber towel one next thing too is it's not just curly girl it's straight girls any any hair type is to avoid using heat avoid using heat to your hair like heat is so bad like it makes your hair brittle it makes it frizzy it makes your hair drops because heat is like applying to you being applying to your hair and it's gonna make everything be weak so a lot of persons don't like use hearing this because they like to use heat i know a lot of girls they like their hair straight curly girls especially but uh if you can avoid it like try to avoid it like once a week probably it will help probably i seriously do not use heat on my hair at all on that one time stacy straightened my hair and if I'm gonna diffuse it, I'm gonna diffuse it on cold as well. So there, there's no heat being added to my hair. So it's not gonna damage my hair. It's not gonna make it frizzy. So try that guys. I know it's hard, but 
if you try it's gonna work and my last and final tip is that when uh, ponying your hair putting up in a bun or putting up in one or how how you comb your hair how you style your hair avoid using these rubbery products because they cut your hair they make it frizzy try using a scrunchie you know those scrunchy nice pony that I usually use put it inside a bun or put it in up in one however you like it or you can use clips as well clip it up it actually really helps with the frizz and help it not to be knotty and help your hair to be loosed so you can try that as well so guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to let me know down in the comments what you love most about this video i know you've requested so much thing from us trust me we're getting there a lot of persons ask us to do our morning or evening routine we will do that soon uh we love that you're supporting us our channel is like growing like growing we just hope you continue to support us and stay tuned for more guys bye